So this week we learned how to use the output of one formula, so from the unique, as the input to another formula, count A. And so we were able to look at all of the quests and count how many different categories there were. Okay, so even though there's 563 quests, each with a category, it turns out there were only 53. We were able to do that by combining two formulas. We did it in a single step with two formulas, single cell. So we're going to add a note about that. And for this one, um, I think we'll probably just use the basic, the basic format. Okay, so we'll select basic. So we choose the basic format. But once again, we want the tag to be spreadsheet. So we choose spreadsheet as our tag. Now in the front, we're still going to add that spreadsheet so it makes it easier for you to understand what, what the card's about. So say spreadsheet. Um, give example of using output from one formula as input to another. Okay. In the back we say example. So what we said was equals put the formulas and capitals count A, and we said unique E E two colon E. Okay. The unique. formula returned returns all of the non duplicate values in range e2 to the n to the end of e column a In our case, the categories of the quest just once. Just once. Then count A counted each of these entries. So instead of giving count A a range of uh, cells to count the non length values, count A took the cells coming from unique. And so we add that. 